I'm Josephine Cameron, and I'm the author of Dog Friendly Town. In this mystery for middle readers, Epic McDade and his siblings have to track down a stolen dog collar worth half a million dollars. Epic loves to tinker, and the gadgets that he makes in the book are easy things that you could make at home. All you have to do is follow your curiosity. camp, Epic and his siblings learn how to make stick bombs using kinetic energy and popsicle sticks. And this concept comes in very handy for them later on in the book. I've asked my brother Alan to show us how to make these and tell us a little bit about kinetic and potential energy because he and my niece and nephew and their dog Nixie really like this project. This next project that we're going to be doing is kinetic popsicle sticks. It's one of my kids' favorite, my dog's favorite, we all love it. And it plays with the two concepts of kinetic energy and potential energy. So kinetic energy and potential energy are just two variations of a body at rest and a body in motion. And so thinking of a ball on the top of a hill, when that ball is sitting at rest on top of the hill, that is said to have potential energy. It has the potential to roll down the hill. And the energy, if I nudge it off of the hill and it starts rolling, that energy of that ball in motion is kinetic energy. And so the concepts we're going to be using with these popsicle sticks is we're going to create a weaving chain of popsicle sticks that when we hold it down, it, is, it stores that potential energy. And then when we let it go, the kinetic energy just rips right through the chain and everything goes flying and it's pretty cool. And so we have our different colored popsicle sticks. This is just to tell um, the different steps in the process. You can use any kind of popsicle sticks. Uh, we've done it with regular popsicle sticks. These are the nice big wide fat popsicle sticks that we use for all sorts of different crafting and garden marking, all sorts of different things. But basically you start out and, and you make an X. Then the third popsicle stick weaves underneath the bottom stick, the bottom of the bottom stick, and then runs over the top stick. The next stick, the yellow one, weaves under, starts underneath the top of the bottom first stick, and then goes over the top of the middle of the third stick, the blue stick. And now we just repeat the pattern over and over. So the red stick I put underneath the green stick and over the yellow stick. Then the next one we'll put underneath the blue stick and over the red stick and on and on and on. And we can create the chain to be as long as we have popsicle sticks. And as you can see, I've added a few more sticks. So I used three of each color so far and it's creating the chain of potential energy. And so I don't know how well you can see this, but it's actually lifting off of the ground all the way until where my fingers are. And technically I just have to hold the one stick down. And so we have a nice small chain here and my finger is holding the power of that potential energy. So as soon as I release my finger, the potential energy is released and kinetic energy takes over. Kinetic energy is the energy in motion. Five, four, three, two, one. If you'd like to learn more about Epic and his adventures, or try to make another one of the gadgets that he uses in a dog-friendly town, please visit my website, josephinecameron.com.